Josh Hager is in studio, and he's going to be joining us the fourth Thursday of every month as we get closer and closer to summer. Summer sounds pretty good right now, doesn't it, Josh? It's cold outside today. Isn't it? My goodness, you drove in. You got four-wheel drive. But how, how are the roads? You know, with four-wheel drive, it wasn't too bad, but at intersections, just be careful so you don't slide through. So, okay. Yeah. So tailgate and tall boys, uh, let's get the who, what, when, where, and why, first of all. Yeah, so we just wanted to kind of keep it relevant. We've been... Um, working with USA Concerts to bring the Tailgate and Tall Boys Festival to the city of Clinton, the first one in the state of Iowa, so we're excited to have that. We just want to stay relevant, make sure the community knows exactly what it is, when it is, and where it is. So it's a three-day festival, June 8th, 9th, and 10th, uh, bringing some of the biggest names in country music to Clinton's Riverfront. Um, we've got headliners like Mitchell Tenpenny, Tim McGraw, as you, as you all know, um, Lainey Wilson, uh, Jake Owen, Jelly Roll. So it's a really great lineup, um, but it does come with some um, obstacles so there's gonna be some congestion so we, we just want to make sure the public is clear you know we're, we're talking 10 to 15,000 people potential on our riverfront um, we won't be using the band show that was my first thought when we had a festival is like utilize our band show space well these stages are so big that our band show would be more like a side stage if, if we even decide to use it so um, the festival will, will take place inside the allied property fenced in area um, we're working with the fire department to come up with like some compa some capacities based on square footage that'll be used for staging and beer tents, you know, all that other food vendor stuff and fun stuff like that. So uh, we're pretty excited. We're going to have a pretty good product to put on the table, but just want to make sure the community is aware. We want to stay relevant, make sure they understand traffic, Second Street, you know, it's going to be pretty crowded. Lincoln Way, there'll be a lot of parking out there. So just want the town to be ready and be, be prepared. As, ex as exciting as it is, there's going to be some challenges that we're working through. So just want to make sure the public's... I could imagine the logistics on this is just going to be incredible. <laughs> it is. It, we've had uh, monthly public safety meetings. We've talked with the USA Concerts team, their security team, our local police, fire, sheriff's offices. Uh, it, it's literally all hands on deck. Public Works, MTA. Um, it's really been such a team effort. And uh, we have great resources in our city um, staffing, so we're pretty excited to have everybody at the same table come up with these plans to make sure this is a safe event for our community. Again, visiting with Josh Hagers, uh, again, we're going to have you in every month, so mm -hmm. that is going to be outstanding. But again, just for our listeners, how did this all come about initially? Yeah, so it's kind of an interesting story. So Mayor Scott and I were talking two different concepts, but the same idea. I wanted to bring a bigger name act to Riverfront of the band shell, and Scott had talked about bringing somebody to the stadium. So we kind of started talking and then through conversations with, with Brent Smith that led to Red Hot Brian Scott that led to Wayne Klein with USA Concerts. We said, hey, how do we bring a, a festival like what you guys have in this tailgate and tall boys to Clinton? And he came on site, met with us, kind of started talking through it. He started looking at our layout and said, wow, this is really this is really something he wants to be a part of. So they opted to do a co-promotion. So basically they said they would go 50 50 partners with us the city and USA concerts to bring this festival. And then that just basically got the ball rolling. Next thing you know, you're trying to track artists and see who's available and you start making offers and then you wait and you think you got someone lined up and then you don't. And then, you know, the, the lineup changes probably 10 to 15 times. So it's like you get super excited when you hear a name, but then all of a sudden they're now in Colorado or they're, or they're in Florida. So for us to get the lineup that we had, we were very, very excited for our first year and we're hoping to grow it build on it but a, a pretty good lineup for, for year one for sure yeah and i think we should let people know that you are working with an organization correct this is what they do this is what for they do. a living yep yep so we've had a lot of inquiries from people about you know food vendors and and how do i be a beer vendor and how do i be this and how do i be that and all great questions it's just we don't have all those answers now because this is their product you know this is their product that they're bringing to clinton so we're working with them and their resources They've got all these supplies, uh, things that they work through for their Bloomington Festival, for Taylorville, for Auburn, Michigan. So we're just another additional you know, festival this year. So they're, they're bringing their program to Clinton. So as soon as we get those answers and opportunities, we'll certainly share them. But um, we're not recreating the wheel here. This is, this is their festival. We're just basically hosting them, uh, but letting them bring their product to Clinton and, and hoping that we're going to you know, put on a great show for our community. And again, let our listeners know you're going to be in every fourth Thursday. Yep. So we're going <clears> to <throat> find out more and more as we go closer to the event. Yeah, and we'll try to touch on a different topic every month. The, the first one, we just wanted to kind of refresh everybody. Like, Keep it on your radar. Buy them tickets. Christmas is a great time to get those, you know, stocking stuffers or or uh, ticket opportunities for gift ideas. So a little plug there. <laughs> so how do they do that, and how are ticket sales going? So ticket sales are going great. I think we're right around the two thousand mark right now with a ten to fifteen thousand ticket goal. Um, you can buy tickets right now on the the Tailgate and Tall Boys website. If you go on the the Tailgate and Tall Boys website, uh, tailgateandtallboys.com, there's this, the the map of Clinton. There's one of Taylorville, Bloomington. So just click on Clinton and it'll go to buy passes, and that's where you can buy your tickets. 
You can get the general admission. You can get VIP, which is all-inclusive food and drink. Um, you can buy your camping passes there if you want to do primitive camping, uh, RV camping, tent camping. All options are available on the buy tickets tab on the website. All right. And you do have a title sponsor? We do. Uh, just about three weeks ago, we, we procured uh, Wild Rose Casino and, and Hotels. So we're excited. Uh, worked with uh, Larissa and uh, Lee on that one. Very excited to partner with them. They made they made a lot of sense to have logistically. Um, not only do they have a great casino and a great um, hotel, their parking lot is great. They're right on the Lincoln Way route. So it really made a lot of sense to bring them in. They're excited. We're excited to have them. So it's very very exciting to get to uh, the Wild Rose Casino and Hotels on as a partner for this title Yeah, sponsor. sounds like that would be a great fit. But, of course, you're always looking for other sponsors and other opportunities. Yes, we are. We are. We've got a great um, package put together. We've got options of a platinum level, gold level, silver level, contributor level, ranging anywhere from $750 to $5,000. Some of the packages come with VIP tickets, VIP parking, um, static ads, which is basically like your logo you know, on the, on the screen. Um, that will be up there. So great opportunities. If you're interested in sponsoring, sponsoring, please reach out to Mayor Madison or myself. Uh, you can find my website at the City of Clinton. Uh, it's Joshua Eggers at City of Clinton, Iowa dot US. Um, if you're a corporation, you're looking at doing bulk pricing. We can do bulk pricing breaks for 20 or more or 40 or more, depending on which uh, you'd like to choose. Some really good discounts with that. And the great thing about doing the bulk purchasing is you save on those closeout fees on um, when you're when you're finishing your purchase there's the the transaction fees those go away if you do the bulk pricing we just bill you directly and send you the tickets directly so really some great opportunities to save if you're looking to get tickets for this festival all right again visiting with josh hager's clinton department of parks and recreation and let's talk a little bit about the parks and recreation yes yes i, I think uh, brandon haynes he's our new recreation supervisor was on uh, mac fm this morning uh, he just took over that role probably about six months ago, so he's hitting the ground running. Uh, he's got the skate rink ready to rock and roll. As soon as we get the snow clear in the next few days, we'll be open for, for business with the skate rink. Um, currently, we are having a membership drive at our fitness center. The, the membership signups have been great already, but we are doing a drive in the month of January. So if you sign up anytime um, in the month of January, you get all of January free, and your first um, uh, transaction doesn't take place till February. So the sooner you come in in February, the better off, and it's 24-hour. You get a key fob, so even on these inclement weather days where there's cancellations, if you can make your way to the to, to the wreck, uh, you can use your key fob and get access that way. So really yeah. encourage people to sign up in the month of January. Get a workout in because it's, it's going to be difficult if you want to go outside. It sure is. <laughs> Unless you're a cross-country Take a break skier. from shoveling snow. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. That's a good cardio right there. That's right. So again, we're going to have you in January 26th. Yes. We'll yep. get another update at that time. But again, if people would like to find out more information, what's the best way to do that, Josh? The best way to do that is to reach out to Mayor Madison or myself again. My email is Joshua Eggers at City of Clinton, Iowa.us. Don't be afraid to reach out by email. Give us a call if you'd like to sponsor. We have great opportunities for that as well to be involved. If you want to be a vendor, reach out. We can get you in contact with the right folks at USA Concerts and uh, just make sure we're ready, Clinton. Be be ready. If you're a business downtown, it, you're going to be inundated, and that's a good thing. So just want everybody to be prepared. And the phone number at the Erickson Center 563-243-1260. All right. Hey, thanks so much for coming in. Merry Christmas. Happy Merry New Christmas. Year. We'll talk to you on the 26th. Thanks for having me. Appreciate Listen it. Listen Christmas Eve at 7 p.m. for a special broadcast of George Frederick Handel's Classic Oratoria, The Mas